Hi, it's Lipstick Gal. Thank you so much for watching today. I wanted to show you the things that I picked up recently. I've been trying really hard to not over purchase. And the fact that Black Friday and Cyber Monday came and went and it's still pre-Christmas time and I still haven't been like crazy purchasing. I'm just like, oh yes. Good job. <laughs> but I did pick up some things. There were some Black Friday purchases and some other things that I happened to pick up in store. So let me just jump in. One of the things that I mentioned before, you may or may not have already heard, is that I live for Glossiersbalm.com and I am forever buying it in their three pack. Their three pack normally runs $30 because each tube of balm.com is $12. But if you get the three pack, it's 30 instead of 36. And I'm like, I'll take the savings where I can. My favorite two happen to be the mango and the coconut, but they did something crazy. They do one sale a year on Black Friday and their sets, like that three set of bomb.com was on sale for 38% off. It was $22 before tax for three of them. And I was like, yes, I'll take two. So I did end up, <laughs> one of them is gone already because I have a friend who'd never tried it. And so I slipped it in like a little Christmas gift basket for her. But I do have um, two of the coconut. I have two of the mango and I did pick up this new shade here. This is a uh, wild fig. And what's great is that this one has a little tint to it. I normally don't like the tinted ones because they tend to be, I can be a little messy when I'm putting it on my lips and I end up looking like a clown, like I have it outside where it's supposed to be. But this one is not too tinted. And I was wearing this the other day in a video where I had, I think, liner and then this on. Super hydrating, very comfortable. I like this a lot and it also smells really sweet and delicious. So I picked this up from Briogeo on Black Friday. This was 20% off. And this is kind of where I'm kicking myself because I still had to pay for shipping. And after I paid for shipping, it wasn't as fail-y as it might have been had I gotten it at a different time. But my favorite thing is this. This is their charcoal coconut oil exfoliating shampoo. This normally runs for $48. The whole box was $49 for two. This is, I think, $48. $49. It's expensive. Each one together, you're paying almost $100 for two if you buy them separately. But in this little duo here, they're only charging you the price of one. And then it was 20% off. I got one during Sephora's sale in November and I, I've been using it and I love it. And these are like my favorite deep conditioner, my favorite exfoliating shampoo, but I never buy them because they're so expensive. But then the duo made them like two for the price of one and then you give me 20% off and I was like, yes. And I didn't think about it till I realized I didn't spend enough to get free shipping, but that's okay. I still got a really good deal on two of my favorite hair products. I also made a beauty pie order and I don't, I don't know if I remember what I ordered. Oh, let's see. So cute in all the pink paper. Ooh, this is one thing that I've been wanting to try. This is their Soul Providers Relaxing Bath and Shower Oil. Oh, it smells amazing. Just a little hint of lavender, some citrus. Oh, that's gonna be amazing in the shower. Lavender, bitter orange, evening primrose oils. Hello, and you're getting 3.38 ounces or 100 mils. I'm excited about that. I did pick up another one of the Plantastics Deep Moisture Nourishing Balms. I got this on a whim when I placed my first Beauty Pie order, and this has been, this has been one of the best things for keeping my skin really well hydrated. My skin is, I would say it's combo, where normally it's like normal everywhere, but I have a lot of extra oil around my nose. In the summertime, it can go from my nose, kind of tops of my pores, a little bit on my chin. And this was a little heavy in the warmer months because I think I got my first box in early September when it was still warm, <laughs> late August, early September. But once the weather got like cold and it was snowing today and it's below freezing here for the high, this has been really great. I use this mainly at night, but on days that I'm not wearing makeup, days that I'm just doing skincare, I will put this as a last layer of hydration before my SPF. This is a beautiful balm. It's really thick. 
but it's beautiful. Oh, it's such a good, it has a very light scent to it. I don't feel like it's scented. It might just be the ingredients I'm smelling, but I love this and I definitely needed another. So I did pick up a Uber Youth Super Eye Energy Peptide Infused Cream. This is their eye cream. I was hoping they would have like a Plantastics eye cream. They don't. I love this. It's so nourishing for my face. I was hoping they'd have an eye, but I have tried other things from the Uber Youth line and I have really liked them. So I thought I would give this a go. The Beauty Pie does make another eye cream. They have a lot of eye serums and other things for the eyes, but they only have two dedicated eye creams. And I wanted to try this one and I put some on the back of my hand. Um, I like that there's no scent. I really prefer no scent in skincare products, but um, it's, Oh my goodness, my hand is so soft. <laughs> wow, this may be perfect. Another thing that I picked up was this. This is their Super Retinol Ceramide Boost Anti-Aging Face Serum. I feel like this is different. I have their Super Boost Retinol right now, which you're only supposed to use for a month and then take some time off and then use it for a month and take some time off. <laughs> um, but I wanted a retinol that I could use every single day. And um, I'm excited to try this again ceramides that's really good i have liked the other like the super intensive one that one has been good and the last thing i picked up is this this is their oh, i'm dropping it their oxygen instant facial refueling mask and what's interesting is this has vitamin a i think it has some um, vitamin a and salicylic acid i'm reading the box here and the box says it has a patented emulsion um and as it breaks down, when it meets your skin, it breaks into oxygen and water, propelling both directly into the skin surface to help hydrate, brighten, cleanse, and revitalize your complexion. I was like, what? Wow, okay. And then it also, with the vitamin A, helps to soften the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. <sighs> Hello. <laughs> and then the salicylic acid in here is supposed to help um, reduce visible pore size, prevent clogging, soothe and refresh prevent blackheads and breakouts. I have been dealing with some texture down here and no amount of um, glycolic acid is getting rid of this. And I am really frustrated by it. So I was hoping that I would get a little benefit from the vitamin A, from the salicylic acid, but also the oxygen to help just kind of, you know, brighten and boost everything. We'll see how this works. This was one of the things I was super curious about. There's a couple in here that are new to this order, but that one was kind of like at the top of my interested list. I was at Marshall's last week and I was looking for wrapping paper and for gifts for some of my kids' classmates. And I can't go through Marshall's without checking out everything. Are you like that when you go into one of those discount stores like a TJ Maxx and Marshall's? I always am like, what do you got? And I found a couple of things. Um, this right here is a product. I had a smaller bottle of this and I love that I went through it so quickly and I finished it up I think in the spring, but it's Aunt Jackie's Coil and Curls Quench. It's a leave-in moisture treatment. I really like this. I like the way it smelled. I like the way it left my hair feeling soft. So I'm glad to get this. I shouldn't have done it. I got another Laneige lip sleeping mask. The reason I couldn't pass this one up is because it's the grapefruit one. I love it. And I got a sample size of the grapefruit one several years ago and it was like the favorite scent I'd ever smelled. I loved it so much. And then I realized when I bought this, I would already recently opened up my apple lime, which I like a lot. Again, citrus with the lime. I did buy this. This sits on my desk now. So this is by my bedside. And this is here on my makeup desk. And this is the lemon sorbet. Oh, and it smells so good. I'm a sucker for citrus scents. And then I bought a like a trio where you get one full size and two minis for the holidays. And I got the minis for my kids, but that left me with this. And now I, ha I have four, oh, mostly full, full size lip sleeping masks. I don't know, I'm a crazy lady. The one thing I will tell you is because I have been wearing, a lot of people say they're not wearing lipstick this year. I totally get that. If I was going to work every day and I had to wear a mask, I would be wearing something like this under there to keep my lips hydrated, but I wouldn't want color to transfer to my mask or like smear it all around my face. I would definitely be wearing a lot less makeup and something like this. But I have also been wearing a lot of stuff like this just because it's comfortable. And instead of reaching for a lipstick during the day when my lips are feeling a little bit chapped, I'll reach for one of these guys and I, it's kind of sad, but I've got four now. 
I didn't need it, but I wanted it. The last thing I picked up, and I don't know whether it was just the price or the memory or a combo of both, but was this. <laughs> was Laura Geller's Bake, Balance, and Brighten. I remember falling in love with this product and the shade's porcelain. It, it used to be one of those that I couldn't always find. Now it takes a long time to get through this. I think another reason that I decided to pick this up is because I have been reaching for more easy to use products. And I could see myself putting on a little bit of concealer, putting a brush in this and swirling it all over my face and being like, and my complexion's done. <laughs> <laughs> just really trying to do the easy thing where I get a little bit of makeup on and it makes me feel like I can, you know, I'm a big kid and I'm, I'm living my big kid, big kid dreams and I can get my stuff done. Um, but then also not so long doing the makeup that I'm like sitting down for 45 minutes to an hour to get my full face done. So this is kind of that perfect product for just enough, not too much. Um, and it was also, it was $5.99. I'm so glad to have picked up so many great bargains. And I'm thinking about all of the things here. The only thing that would take me a really long time to get through, well, there's a couple, only because I have so many. I didn't really need it, but I wanted it. And this, this takes me a long time to get through unless I'm using just that. I'm glad to have this on hand because I will finish up the ones that I currently have open in my shower, plus these guys, before the end of 2021. And I go through so many tubes of balm.com during the year. I told myself to really limit my spending to only things that I knew I could finish. This is the only makeup item I purchased and that really surprised me. I'm really proud that I didn't spend on a lot of makeup, but I'm trying to make sure that I'm making smart purchases. This is probably not a smart purchase, maybe more a nostalgic purpose. I remember Emily Noel saying it was so good like almost a decade ago and I ran right out and I bought it. So it, it could just be the nostalgia and the season and the price. I would love to know if you picked anything up on sale because it's the holidays and everything's on sale right now, or if you're trying to just like, I've got plenty, I really don't need any. I would love to know. And if you're one of those people who's been staying strong, oh, encourage me to do the same because I know the after Christmas sales are coming and I don't need it. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> Have an amazing day and I will see you again soon. Bye.